Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today's video, we are working on the next set of cards, which I believe is five and six. And this is from the Simple Stories Remember card kit, which I got from my little scrapbook store. So we're just gonna dive on in. So here um, are the two cards that we're gonna be working on today. I already have my card pieces uh, pulled and set to the side. And now we're going to work on the next two. Okay. So just like with all the other ones, we're going to start with the base. And then what I love about these, this is something that feels really good when you have it basically completely empty and you can start throwing stuff away it feels good like you're accomplishing something and now we're gonna grab the oval circle all right and then on this part we're gonna grab the chipboard heart we have this element here and then there's some more hearts that we're gonna pick up from the top here all right, so we got one and then we got two. We're just, I'm just double checking, making sure I get all the elements. And the last bit is the word up at the top. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our card base for a second there, I lost one of the hearts. And what's so crazy about this glass mat, that heart slid all the way under <laughs> my stuff on the left. I was like, how did it get all the way over here? Um, okay. So we're gonna fold our card base and we're gonna start attaching our base. So I know you guys, if you've been following, you know how I do as far as using the tape runner and then using um, the glue gun, which is the um, precision, uh, yeah, what do they call this thing? <laughs> I had it in my brain. I wanna say it's the precision glue gun, um, but it's from My Sweet Petunia. I got this from my little scrapbook store as well. And it has been, um, a real help as far as squeezing out the glue. You don't really have to like, you know, keep shaking it and stuff like that. As it starts to get more and more empty, you do um, want to kind of sh kind of shake it down. But I've just been, um, I think I'm finishing up the one that comes with it. And then I did fill up the empty bottle that we got with my art glitter glue um the only thing is i broke the top so i'm just waiting for i think i have bought a few more empty bottles and i'm just waiting for either those to come in or i gotta get a few more i can't remember but i know i had ordered some more okay and we're just layering everything down so we have this the paper that goes across the middle i'm gonna kind of lay and figure out where I want to put the heart and the sentiment because you got to have enough room so instead of doing it more in the middle I lift this up closer to the top which gives me more room for my um, chipboard word and I like how that looks much better so now we're going to um, attach this piece first and then once I have it in place, then I can lay down the chipboard heart. All right, putting the glue along the back of that, laying it down. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the chipboard hearts. Lay that down and then we can do all the other elements. So you could add foam tape, um, what do they call them? Not enamel dots, but the um, pop dots. <sighs> pop up dots. Oh, that's not the name of them. Lord, I don't know what's going on with me. But anywho, foam, 
whatever you have that you could use besides glue or the tape runner. If you want to give it a little height, you could add it to the hearts to give a little bit more dimension. On this one, for me, I didn't add any height. I left it all flat to uh, the card front, but that is an option. Okay, and then we're going to grab our um, Distress um, White Picket Fence, and we're going to continue with the splatters, because remember... Since I started the splatters with the first set of cards, I'm going to do that for every set after because we want to keep um, it going consistently with all the cards. And I think it just creates a really pretty element, especially for these um, sympathy cards. Okay, so we're going to grab our next card base. Go ahead and fold that in half and use our bone folder. All right. And then we're going to start grabbing the elements for that particular card base, which is uh, on the bottom right hand side of the page. And we're going to start grabbing elements. So we have this one. And then we're going to grab, I think it's two more pieces. That's going to create, yeah, the one on the right hand side there. So we got this one, and then the other one I realized, I think I had put it to the wrong spot. No, there it is. There it is. So it'll lay kind of like that. And then we're going to grab the circle and the camera, and then we're gonna grab um, the chipboard elements as well. So we're gonna grab the forever and and the circle always, punch out all those pieces. And then we have a chipboard flower that we're gonna grab. Okay, so we're gonna put everything to the side and start building this one. So you can see, even though I do two cards in each video, you really could get a lot of these done in one setting because it doesn't take much to pick out the pieces and putting it all together is so, um, simple and like I said before once you start doing one you get used to it and you're able to pick out exactly what you need to get a lot quicker all right and we're gonna start layering these pieces and on this one I kind of wanted to I was going to attach the one and put them both down as one piece but then I realized you know what no, let me put this one down kind of where I think it's laying on the card front. And then we can do this one wherever we need it to go. Adding the glue, which gives us a little bit of wiggle room. And then there you have it. And you see how easy it was to pull it back up and then lay it back down, making sure it was nice and straight. I'm telling you, if you guys ever have trouble with it, use the wet glue with your tape. It, it's definitely a help. And it's not going to hurt for it to have added adhesive. You know what I mean? It'll be okay. All right. So the camera, we can use foam tape. I didn't, but that is an option for you. Okay. I left mine nice and flat because I knew that we were going to have a lot more chipboard elements. So I didn't want the camera to be up high as well. And then I'm just laying down the always. And then we have the little flower that'll go at the bottom right. Okay. So we're laying that down. Now the fun part is the always. So in looking at my card, I think I got it pretty straight considering, but yeah, I, I think what I would have loved is if they had made this all one piece. Uh, I think they could have, and it still looked like separate circles. Um, it would have just been easier, but um, 
you know, I just try and make it as straight as I can. If you're that worried about it, you can get a T-square, lay it down, and, you know, try and make it as straight as possible. Uh, I'm okay. I, I don't think it turned out bad. And we're just going to keep laying these down. And then our final letter. And this one doesn't have to be sympathy at all because it's forever and always. I mean, you could use this for anniversary. You could use this for a special event. All right. So now, I think we have everything on there that we're supposed to, and we're gonna do some splatters. Oh, I think I know what happened. Did I do that? I did wind up putting a flower on there after everything was dry because it was like an individual piece that I had extra. I forgot about that. So it wasn't originally on the picture, but I did add it afterwards. So you'll see the flower um, in the end photos because I did put that afterwards. Okay, so we're going to bring our other card over, and there you have it. Two quick and easy cards, and since we've already done the first four, and then we have these two here. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and share button. You can leave comments or questions down below. And then next week will be the last two cards. And I will also show you um, what I do with some of the extra pieces that's left over and the final cards um, all at once. So thank you guys again. I hope you have a great weekend. And I will see you with our next video.